Mysterious dark towers have recently been seen going up all over New York City. These towers were built overnight, and the city has been keeping quiet about their construction methods as well as their hidden applications. What could these towers possibly be used for? Are these the new 5G towers that have been long anticipated for? Could this be a new upgrade to the existing NSA surveillance systems? And what's even more disconcerting is why they aren't answering our questions and telling us exactly what they are going to be used for. Here is a special report from CBS with some details about them. Jose Lugo says these tall metal towers quickly popped up after Brooklyn Battery Tunnel toll booths came down. We don't really know what's the, the purpose of this. It's a $100 million MTA project full of secrecy with 18 of these for the tunnels and bridges. So what are they exactly? Are you saying you can't call, comment to me? You know That's the can. MTA's man in charge of bridges and tunnels, Cedric Fulton, dodging our questions. Not even late, uh, later, can we talk to you about it or can I make an appointment? Some MTA board members, including New York City Transportation Commissioner Polly Trottenberg, say they know too little about the towers, even with about half the money spent and some of the towers up. A lot of the board members felt like they didn't have all the details they would have wanted, myself included. Residents who say they suspect there is much more going on with these towers than meets the eye wonder will they ever know what's going on inside them. I'm going to guess it's probably not just a decoration. It's a bit mind-boggling that the MTA is approving $100 million for what appears to us to be uh, big decorative uh, pylons. John Caney is leader of the watchdog group Reinvent Albany. What we're asking for is transparency from the MTA. We demanded answers from oh, MTA no, Chairman no, Joe Loda. Some of your own board members say they don't know the specifics. The base of these new, um, uh, new pieces that are going up uh, include whatever uh, fiber optics are necessary for those homeland security items. In other words, anti-terror technology. Could it one day include facial recognition? We don't know. He won't say. I'm not at liberty to discuss that. So watch as more of these expensive towers rise with mystery tucked away inside them. In Lower Manhattan, Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News. Chairman Loda said all necessary homeland security technology remains in place at all crossings, even the ones that don't have the new towers just yet. And Shams Tarek, a spokesman for the MTA, has given a more fulfilling answer recently, stating that the towers have cameras, traffic monitoring equipment, and other equipment related to Homeland Security that would otherwise have been hosted by the former toll booth structures themselves. So here is my theory on what they possibly could be. NVIDIA has recently partnered with China-based company Alibaba to help launch their new smart city technology platform called Metropolis. Metropolis was just launched back in May of 2017 and is NVIDIA's new cloud platform technology that sifts through surveillance and traffic camera video using artificial intelligence to manage traffic, parking, law enforcement, and other city services. Metropolis will use several NVIDIA technologies, including Tesla GPU accelerators, deep learning software, and the company's DGX1 cloud-based supercomputers to comb through the vast amount of data collected by a city's security and traffic cameras to make decisions based upon what it sees. The platform can monitor video in real time and view data in video recordings up to 30 times faster than even humans can in most cases. NVIDIA believes its total addressable market in the smart city space will reach at least $2 billion by 2021, and teaming up with Alibaba will help the company's prospects even more. Alibaba's cloud services are already an integral part of creating smart cities in China. The city of Hangzhou, home to millions of people in Alibaba's headquarters, has already started using Alibaba's artificially intelligent cloud computing services to help manage vehicle and pedestrian traffic. The system is called Hangzhou City Brain, and if all goes well, it will be expanded into most cities all across China. Simon Hu, the senior vice president of Alibaba Group and the president of Alibaba Cloud, said last month that Alibaba Cloud's big data and deep learning technologies have been helping to build city brains in China to help local governments effectively make management decisions. The benefit for NVIDIA in working with Alibaba on smart cities is that China is expected to have 500 cities with some level of connectivity by the end of this year, far more than any other country. Not all of those cities use Alibaba's cloud services, of course, but by partnering with Alibaba, NVIDIA opens itself up to tap into China's burgeoning smart city market.
NVIDIA is positioning itself in the smart city space now for what could become a $3.4 trillion market by 2026. Metropolis and NVIDIA's partnerships are just getting off the ground right now, but the company already used its software and hardware capabilities to begin dominating other AI segments, and there's no reason why it can't do the same with smart cities. America currently lags behind China's smart city plans, so investors should keep a close eye on what the company is doing with Alibaba and other China-based tech companies to see if NVIDIA can create more opportunities in China and around the world. Investors also need to be patient as NVIDIA's smart city opportunities materialize. We're only at the beginning stages of using AI to improve traffic, pedestrian safety, and law enforcement. But it's definitely clear that NVIDIA sees this as a huge opportunity to capitalize on its AI hardware and software. Other applications for smart city uses include, but are not limited to, retail analytics, traffic management, smart parking, law enforcement, and safety and security. NVIDIA has also partnered with dozens of other companies involved in AI development and the human surveillance business. Let's play a game to see who can spot the most Illuminati symbolism found in these NVIDIA's corporate partners' logos. Also, I was able to do some more digging into who else could be a partner of NVIDIA's surveillance team, and I came across this curious company that was involved with our homeland security, which led me to believe that those mysterious pylons that have been popping up all over New York City is quite possibly part of the new NVIDIA Metropolis Smart City platform. Sagavtech is an Israeli-based company that specializes in surveillance, defense, and algorithm development and implementation for image and signal processing for our homeland security. So why is an Israeli-based company being used to monitor U.S. citizens and provide advanced defense systems for our homeland security? The answer is just as much shrouded in secrecy as these mysterious towers being placed all over New York City. Will New York be the first implementation of Metropolis as the new smart city? Will our every move become recorded and be kept in data files to be analyzed over by advanced AI to determine if we will be considered a future threat or by keeping track of our shopping habits to make sure that we are still just another functioning member of society? And this ultimately begs the question, what other projects and plans does our government have waiting in store for us that they are not telling us about? Stay woke everybody, take care.